Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is an M44, the Tier 6 American SPG. This one's on the defending spawn of uh, Karelia Assault, and it's under the command of the Demon Taxi Driver. Game's about to start. Game started. Now, 155mm howitzer, mounted on a Walker Bulldog chassis. And it's capable of 550 alpha and normal reload speed would be about 19.9 seconds. But uh, Demon Taxi Driver's got it down to 16.08. He's using Coca-Cola to speed it up. And his colleagues for this battle are an S51 with the 203mm howitzer and an M12 with a 155mm howitzer. And this is a tier 7 game. Those are both tier 7 arties. So, extra potential for him to make lots more credits it's on a 510 matchup and we've got 10 minutes to defend the cap or kill all the attackers okay he's just setting himself up okay he's aiming for the enemy some enemy have been spotted in the south and um, we've got a vk 301p the medium tank version of the tiger and a scorpion Now the VK does have a good gun. It's fairly weak armor though. Quite a, a fast little nippy little tank. A lot of people underestimate it. Okay, the Scorpion's actually quite a deadly little tank destroyer, that American version. And it's very small as well. If you've actually seen one in the real, uh, in the flesh so to speak, uh, it's no higher than a man standing upright. Um, very, very small indeed. Okay. KV-2, Tier 6 Soviet Heavy, the Strunk machine. Can we get around into him? Dialing in. Looks perfect. Work out where he's headed. Fires around it. Unfortunately, the KV-2 decided to move forwards instead of backwards. But he's taking damage, and we're reloading rapidly. And we're following him, because next time round we won't miss. Lining up the shot. He's still pulling back. Rounds out. This looks good. It is good. It's a splash, though. Only 17 hit points. The shell overshot him just slightly, but he was stunned, and we pick up the stun assist. Right, T29. Tier 7 American Heavy. Lined up the shot. Onto his engine bay. Rounds out. He's tracked. And that splashes him for 206. It's a good shot. Not as much as I was expecting, though, because if he'd hit the rear of the... Well, the engine deck of that tank, he certainly would have done a lot more. But he's about to shoot again. He's still tracked that target. Rounds out. Here we go. Yes, that's better. 202 hit points this time. In fact, actually, that's around, slightly less than the, the other one did. And that was a splash. But that T29's not going anywhere fast. So long as he stays under this fire. Rounds out again. And this one didn't penetrate, but it did stun him. And he's got two tanks after him, and he didn't last very long. Okay, we've cleared out all the enemy tanks on the northeast corner of the map. But we do have some enemy tanks to the south. And uh, Demon Taxi Driver's moving to a new firing position so he can get a shot at them, because that rock was in the way. He's extending his aim. We've got an OI, a Tiger 131, and that VK 301P and Scorpion that we saw earlier. There's also three enemy arties to shoot at, a GW Panther, an SU-14-1, and a Hummel. We haven't found any of those yet, but I think we're about to find them, because I think they're probably going to be behind the, um, the southeast corner of the map. In fact, no, they haven't been spotted yet, but we have spotted a load of enemy mediums and tank destroyers, and we're going after that OI. Lining up a shot, work out where it's headed, rounds out, this looks good. Oh my god, it bounced! It just stunned him, but it bounced off the armour. You heard a clang as it hit the target. And though we we keep, we keep often hear from Zircon it's uh, um, kill shot, kill shot, kill shot from the... Well, not kill shot, but he doesn't say that word, but 
he said one shot one shot one shot about the m44 i'm afraid it doesn't happen you get things like that happening where you actually literally bounce off the frontal armor of an enemy tank that one didn't bounce that hit the ground but i think the oi was in the vicinity so he probably got splashed now it might help our team if we were to realign our aim and shoot towards the horseshoe because there's a t 3485 and that bk 301 p who are holding up our team Unfortunately, Team Taxi Driver's not looking in that direction. It's got target fixated on the OI. There's the OI. There's the 131. Okay, 131's been tracked, rounds out, looks good. Unfortunately, it only stuns him. Okay, going for another shot. Almost ready. Rounds out. Oh! Well, he didn't get the kill shot, but he did damage it before it was killed. 206 hit points from that one. Now, indicating the OI. But we've only got the turret to aim at. Because we, that's about, about all we can see. And that one hit the rock face. Now he's, he's yellowing in. To try and get that T3485 because he's low on hit points. Rounds out on the OI. Direct hit 224. The T3485 has been derped. But that OI is now in desperate trouble because he's only got 11% of his health left. And he is going to be susceptible to a quick splash. We're loaded. And the OI has been killed. As I said, he only needed a splash near him, and that was a splash near him. That was the S-51. 5-1 in. Now, the enemy still has a medium tank, a tank destroyer, and three arties. But the fact that those arties weren't found around the southeast corner means that they are probably somewhere on the south edge of the map. And unfortunately, we just lost our easy 8 T-3485 took him out. So we've got our KV-85 moving into the back of the map. And we saw that Scorpion. There's the one of them. There's one of the enemy RT. GW Panther dialing in. Need the shot to be accurate. Now we could just fire it in because he a splash would be enough. Oh, it wasn't close enough. But the GW was killed by the KV-85. I think that was a problem with the RNG there. The shell said, no, I'm not going to be going directly to the target. I'm going to fall short. And there's the Scorpion. A dangerous American tank destroyer. We fire where we think he's going and splash him for 73. And looks like that was from the M12. And the S51 fired one in as well. The S-51's slightly to our left, and so that's where the shell appeared to come in from the left side of the screen. Okay, still waiting to spot the SU-14-1 and the Hummel. There's the Scorpion again. The enemy's only got two minutes now to capture the cap. Oh, and that one fell short as well, and it only stunned him. He's hugging those rocks for cover actually that might be worse off for him because then if he's hugging it he know we know where he is okay rounds out direct hit wipes him out just as i said you know if you hug the rocks like that we know where you are we'll put the shell in there and demon taxi driver did and killed him so only three enemies left they've only got one minute 15 seconds to take the cap or lose Now, I like the idea of what he's doing here. Oh, the SU-14-1 has been spotted. It's such a big RT. Base as it is on the T-35 tank. And I think our teammate, the M-12, actually ran into the back of us for some reason. Yep. He actually did two hit points worth of damage running into the back of us. And we're dialing in then now on the Hummel. Just killed our Jackson. Rounds out. 
And that's a kill shot. 300 hit points. There's only one enemy left. And that's the T-3485. And there he is. He's in that corner. 21 seconds left. And he's been killed by the KV-85. And that's the end of the game. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's a first class tanker for a demon taxi driver in the M44. He got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 15 in that one. And he picked up a confederate medal because he hit more of the enemy than anyone else on his team. At least six tanks subsequently taken out by other teammates. And if we look at the team score, we can see that the highest amount of damage was done by the demon taxi driver. He got... Eight, uh, 1818 hit points of damage. Next highest score was the M56 Scorpion, managed 1489. And after that, the next highest score was the S51 with 1374. When it came to kills, well, the highest score there goes to the M12. He got three kills, and then there's a whole bunch of tanks with two kills piece, including the S51 and Demon Taxi Driver. And when it came to base XP, well, Demon Taxi Driver was bottom tier in a uh, tier 7 game, so he picked up 1,048 base experience points, 861 to the KV-85, and 735 to the S51. He fired 19 rounds, he got 8 direct hits and 2 penetrations, splash damage on 11. Damage of 1818 hit points, all of it at more than 300 meters. He damaged 8 of the enemy, killed 2 of them, and did 25 hit points of damage assistance, and 1133 hit points of stun assist off 12 stuns. On a premium account, he earned 31,142 credits, got 27 credits compensation for that M12 running into the back of him when he stopped to take a shot. And so his total came to 46,740 credits. And uh, after repair and ammunition resupply, he actually took away 37,127 credits. He received 1,048 XP, got 4,716 from personal missions payout, and took away 6,288 altogether. So a very nice little assault battle, very quick, they are very brief, but uh, there's always the uh, possibility that you might actually uh, uh, die within those 10 minutes, uh, or something um, is going to make you panic, uh, because the enemy is going to take uh, extra risks just to try and win the game if they're on assault. But I've seen some pretty great games by uh, RT players uh, in um, defense of the cap, and yes, it, it can be a lot of fun, these sort of games. So if you enjoyed that replay, Please give it a like and subscribe to our channel and hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be looking at in the next video.